Hi, my name is Adrian. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the, some of the common items or gear that you might find in a Vendonier's or any cyclist toolkit. So without further ado, let's start. So, uh, essential engineering gear. Well, this is uh, quite a tricky topic to cover because uh, there are different kinds of cyclists. Uh, some like to travel with at the with minimal gear, uh, essentially trying to be as light and as fast as possible. And then at the opposite end of the spectrum, there are cyclists who would like to try to cover every situation cover every base so they bring a lot of stuff so rather than talk about uh, what is important and what's not instead I'll go over a bunch of uh, common things and give my opinions on them what's good about them what's uh, not so essential and based on your riding style you can decide how important it is to bring it along in your ride so let's start with the most common item your spare inner tube well if you are riding on clincher tires that use inner tubes well this one's a given and in fact if you're on engineering rides uh, you definitely want to bring at least one if not more how many that well that depends on your own riding experience uh, how often you might expect getting a puncture the road conditions in your area and so on but yeah, you, at least one or two, maybe even three. If you are on uh, tubeless tires, well, you may also want to bring one as an emergency because you never know, you may encounter a puncture that your sealant failed to work on, or maybe for some reason your pump failed to reinflate tire after fixing or sealing the tire. Well, this is your last resort. You can still put an inner tube inside a tubeless tire so yeah i'd say it's pretty important so if you're carrying tubes you probably want tire levers well tire levers come in several different sizes and shapes uh depending on your particular rim and tire combination certain uh, designs may work better than others so it's one thing to keep in mind Speaking of removing tires, once you're, you're done with your puncture and whatever, you'll want an inflation device. That's either a mini pump or a CO2 cartridge and inflator. Or maybe bring both. Uh, it, it's really a lot of uh, personal preference. The advantage of a CO2 is mainly speed. So if you are, let's say, you are rushing maybe because uh, you are late to a checkpoint you need to reach a checkpoint before it closes and you run into a puncture well a co2 cartridge might save you some precious minutes on the other hand um, tires inflated with co2 cartridges tend to lose air faster than normal pumps so if you're on a long multi-day brevet you may want to keep that in mind and also bring a mini pump so that you can top up top up some air you know on the next day or and so on now another essential thing whether you're randonneering or cycling might be a set of mini tools now uh, these kind of mini tools come in all kinds of shapes and sizes but the most important thing is you want to find one that has all the right tools for your specific bike now, most bikes will probably require Allen, Allen wrenches or Allen keys or hex wrenches. Uh, the most common sizes will probably be uh, 4mm, 5mm and 6mm. But you really need to know what your particular or your specific bike model uh, uses so that you know what to bring. Now, some mini tools will also come with uh, tire lever now these may be in metal or plastic the plastic ones are 
should be fairly good since it means you 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 could skip carrying another separate set of tire levers and just rely on your tools but if it's a uh, metal then you only want to save it up for an emergency case use because uh a metal lever might tend to scratch your rim so you want to avoid that another thing to look out for in a mini in a tool set is probably uh, a chain breaker now this might be useful if uh, you break your chain for whatever reason how often that happens well I can't be the judge of that but Personally, in my experience while cycling, I have experienced... Well, I personally have not had any broken chains, but I have experienced or rather witnessed two broken chain events before. And in both cases, the chain breaker helped in fixing up the chain so that the rider could either continue the ride or uh, go back home. So, that those are the important aspects to look out for in a multi-tool like this. Another interesting thing that you might find in a cyclist toolkit is a patch kit. More like an inner tube uh, patch kit. These come in two varieties. There is the glueless type and the glue variety. Uh, personally, I feel like uh, patching is something that is better safe to do at home rather than out on the road. but it's a personal preference. Either way, I'd recommend the glue variety rather than the glueless patch. Uh, I find the glueless ones kind of a hit of hit or miss, especially when you start dealing with uh, high pressure, uh, high PSI tires such as those on road bikes that can go as much as uh, 80 to 90 or even 100 PSI. Another interesting piece of kit this is an emergency derailleur hanger for cases where you accidentally uh, broke or badly bent your derailleur hanger. Uh, this might come in handy. So it's small enough to just always keep it on with you. So I don't, I, I don't see any reason why not. Just, you know, just have it along. On the same note, we have... Um, what do you call these? Extra... Extra quick links. You know, to link up your broken chain. They are, it's kind of small, so they take up a very little amount of footprint, so why not? And then we have spare rim tape. Uh, this is another one of those questionable things. Uh, usually, rim tape is something you don't think about. It's always there in your rim. Uh, it should be in good condition but what if uh, one day you get a puncture and you find out that it's caused by your rim tape and you have no way of fixing the puncture well it's a very small risk so it it really depends on you but you know it's it's such a small and light thing it's negligible weight so Depending on how much space I have left in my saddlebag, I'm I might keep it, I might not. Next, we have lights. Lots and lots of lights. Different shapes and sizes. You want to bring enough for your ride, you want to make sure you've got enough battery or power for it. So yeah, these are essential. You may also need to pay attention to the particular rules and regulations of the event that you are joining some of them might require a constantly on rear light so in that case you want to make sure that uh, you have something that really lasts i know a lot of lights are fine in blinking mode but the moment you let it on for a constant amount of time duration just drops like crazy so you want to keep that in, in mind um, but if your bike is using dynamo power to i mean a dynamo to power your lights then well there's one less thing that you need to worry about okay spare socks now this is interesting 
um if you are expecting a lot of rain and this is a very long ride maybe 400 kilometers or more then it might be a good idea to carry some spare socks because uh, riding for a long period of time with wet socks is just well unhealthy basically so once the rain has stopped find find a place to stop change your socks and continue so it depends on the expected weather conditions first aid kit now this is another iffy thing depending on what's in the first aid kit usually they have things like some uh, simple bandages and uh, alcohol or antiseptic wipes uh, some plaster and basic stuff well if you have space in your bag why not just in case but again it's a lot of uh, personal preference in this next the ziplock bag this is super cheap and super useful i don't see a reason to not bring any of these along first of all they can protect your uh, electronic devices especially your mobile phone also maybe your brevet card your cue sheet and any other sensitive electronic device protect them from the rain and from the elements and they they, they just wrap up into like next to nothing so yeah useful carry two or three maybe in in fact if if you if you brought spare socks and it rained and you changed your socks you can store your dirty socks in a ziplock bag that's gonna be a, it keeps your dirty stuff away from the rest of your gear and on that note garbage bag now why would you bring a garbage bag with you <laughs> interesting well if you're on a multi-day brevet you can use the bag to store your dirty clothes so once you go to a hotel or homestay or whatever you have your shower you change where do you put your dirty clothes so garbage bag is one place and you know it it folds up into a very small little thing that you can probably stuff into you can stuff in any corner of your bag or whatever so let's use and another good thing about the garbage bag is folded properly in an emergency situation you can stuff it inside your jersey you know and cover up your chest and you have an emergency uh, windshield against the cold if if that's a concern where you live so that's one other use of garbage bag also if you poke three holes in the garbage bag you get an emergency raincoat well yeah it's a DIY solution it's better if you actually bring a raincoat if you're expecting rain but well if not garbage bag to the rescue and speaking of the weather the opposite of rain you might have the sun hot sun uh, you have to worry about uh, sunburn you know so sunblock they come in a variety of uh, ratings and sizes some of them small enough that you can just keep in your in your jersey behind so it's a good idea to carry one of these and then uh, spread them on once in a while every four hours or so depend like these sports types actually last for four hours and uh, water resistant small and useful and speaking of creams chamois or chamois depending on what region you come from chamois cream chamois cream uh, comes in different shapes and sizes uh, it really depends on you you're either the kind of rider who needs it on long rides or you don't need it on long rides so if you need it you need it remember to pack one finally one more type of cream that might be useful um, muscle rub if uh, well this is another one of those know your body know your limits type so if you need it remember to pack it otherwise don't bother 
Then we have towels. This is an interesting bit. If you are going on multi-day uh, bevets or tours or whatever, usually if you need to check in into a hotel, they usually provide towels. But I've had instances where we've used homestays and they don't provide anything at all. So there was one time I actually forgot to bring my towel. So after having a shower, you know the, you know the rest of the story. So do your research and decide whether you need to bring a towel or not. And if you're worried about the size, well, there are smaller packable ones, although it might be a bit trickier to wipe yourself down with the tiny ones. And on that same note, uh, you may also need to consider like a portable, portable kit for your toothbrush and toothpaste and whatever. Again, do your research. You, most hotels usually provide it, but yeah, find out and otherwise you might regret it. Okay, so what else did I miss? Yeah, Velcro straps. These are incredibly useful. Um, you can strap a lot of things to them. Like for example, if your limit, if your bike has like limited space, you can and you want to bring I don't know a jacket or something, you can always strap your jacket to your bike. Uh, spare tire if you need to bring a spare tire. Again, a spare tire is very situational. It really depends on your own riding experience, whether you actually need to bring one or not. It might save you, it might not. It's a calculated risk, but if you bring a spare tire and you don't have a bag that can fit it, well, you can always strap it somewhere on your saddle or on your top tube or somewhere. Also, um, you can use uh, Velcro straps to secure your saddle bag, prevent it from like, you know... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Jiggling around, okay, let's prevent it from jiggling around. It depends on your, set, depends on your uh, saddle bag. Like I have this really big 10 liter uh, saddle bag. If it's not properly secured, it's just gonna Jiggle, wobble, wobble, okay, wobble was the right word I wanted. So it might wobble around and I, I'll use the Velcro straps to really secure it to the bike. Um, but anyway, yeah, multiple uses. Good to carry some of these with you. Then we have a gilet. Uh, this is interesting. The gilet serves multiple purposes. It can serve as a wind blocker in uh, cold situations. Uh, many gilets also come with uh, reflective strips. This is useful for night riding. Uh, even not just gilets, but there are also vests and other straps that are useful for night riding safety. In fact, some vervets even uh, require some kind of reflective uh, jacket of sort for rides so you want to pay attention to the rules and regulations of the ride that you're joining also there are some gilets that are designed for the cold like this one actually contains uh, like some kind of woolly uh, material on the inside so this is good for cold and Finally, we have the jacket. Jackets come in a variety of types. The one I have here is a rain jacket, good for rainy situations. But there are also wind blocker jackets, which are good against cold, especially if you're doing fast descents. So these are also highly situational. You got to consider the route that you're riding and the weather, the predicted weather patterns and well just make a calculated risk are you do you want to bring a jacket or not or maybe if not can you just get by with a gilet so there we have it uh, some of the most common uh, items that you might find in a randomness kit really some things are more important than others a lot of it 
might be highly situational. The important thing is you are aware of these items so you can make an informed decision and decide if you want to bring or not bring them. So hopefully you've uh, picked up something new from this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like and uh, subscribe. It really helps this channel grow. So until the next video, bye.